once a law has been established. Thank you, Lord. I've I, 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 I just come to ask what you're looking at. <laughs> See, because when you recognize yes. how to acknowledge him, yes. he says the blessings of the Lord are sweatless. Yes. Mm. Amen. And they add no salt. Amen. Yes. I'm, 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 I'm out of here, but what you're looking at? <coughs> The blessings of the Lord means that we acknowledge his word as we go along the way. I'm on my way from here to there. What am I looking at? His word. And that is how I know that he's guiding me. What is it that you're looking at? His word. And that is how I know what he wants for me. What is it that you're looking at? His word. And that is how I know that where I am is where he wants me to be. If you haven't looked at his word, then what are you looking at? Amen. Amen. Are you sick? Well, what are you looking at? Hmm. Ah, are you broke? What are you looking at? Mm -hmm. Are you lonely? Mm -hmm. What are you looking at? Amen. Do you know that God has a word for all? Yes. Everything concerning you. it in the word and you speak the word yes. it'll change what you see Amen. trust in the Lord yes. with all your heart mm. and lean not to your own understanding mm. in all of your ways mm. acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Amen. I'm here to tell you that God desires to bless you. It was his creative intentionality when he thought about you. Amen. So the only question about whether or not you are where he wants you to be is really what are you looking at? If you change your focus, he'll change your life. Amen. Doesn't mean you won't go through, but it does mean he'll lead you through and you won't have to worry about the shadows. Amen. Amen. For he will prove himself to be your shepherd. Amen. Your heads bowed and eyes shut. Eternal God, our Father, it's in the precious holy and matchless name of Jesus that we come this day asking that you teach us how to pray. Not just pray what's on our heart, but pray according to what we see. And not just pray according to what we see with our eyes, but what we see according to your word. Teach us how to structure the prayers that we pray in a way that it allows us to keep acknowledging you so that you guide us. Teach us that it is important for us to be right in you so that we can be sure that you will guide us in all of the ways you have for us. Thank you, God, that you challenge us by asking us what is it that we're looking at. Because there are some things that don't deserve our attention. But you and you alone do. And your word says that if we keep our minds stayed on you. We will be kept in perfect peace. So I pray right now over every life that's under the sound of my voice that they keep their mind on Jesus. That you are the living word. And that as we meditate on you, you will manipulate our lives. You will orchestrate our ways. And you will construct the blessings concerning us. Now, if there's one under the sound of my voice that does not know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, 
And my brother and my sister, let me offer Christ to you today. For the Bible says that in the book of John, that the Word became flesh. This book in which we have been dialoguing about over the course of the last couple of moments is a gift from God to you. But the only way that you can fully gain anything from it is if you get it from the gift giver. That gift giver's name is Jesus. He came as the physical embodiment of the word itself so that we did have something to look at. And because he lived the life that he did, that he was sinless and that he suffered, bled and died for our sake and then was resurrected for our sake, we now have access to what this book says is ours. The blessings belong to the children of God. So if you have yet to make that choice, receive Jesus today as the firstborn among us. And he will open the door to the richness of this word so that the blessings overtake you in life as God has designed. If you are here and you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, now is your time. Don't miss this moment so that your life will never be the same again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For everyone else under the sound of my voice, I challenge you. I challenge you to receive Christ as the Word of God. As the physical embodiment that points to the book of that is God's love letter to you. That if you are willing to invest yourself in Scripture, Scripture will guide you in the way that God would have you to go. And in guiding you to the way that He would have you to go, you will find that you will be in pastures that are green. That you lay down beside still waters. That you are at banquet feasts where your cup runs over. Where surely goodness and mercy, they chase you down like a stalker. That you will find the exceeding abundant above all you could ask, think, or imagine be your definition. What are you looking at? Acknowledge God in all your ways and let him set the lens for how you see life. And see if you don't get a new vision on life itself. Yes. For it's in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And all of God's children said, Amen. Amen. Can you put your hands together? The blessed holy name. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. To acknowledge God means that you got to pray. But you got to pray right. Amen. Amen. Amen? Amen. No more elementary prayers when you want big people things. Amen. Jesus gave us destruction. And then said, get right yourself. Thank you, God, that he didn't just accept my mess. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holiness, righteousness, and sanctification yes. still matter. Still matter. Amen. He accepts us as we come in, but after a while, some of that stuff needs to start shedding Amen. off. Amen. 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 And to help with that, he's given a scripture. Amen. 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 You can't do it on your own, because if you could have done it on your own, you would have done it before you got here. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And I would have never met you here. Amen. 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 But now that you're here, this is how we get from here to there. Amen. We start changing what we're looking at. We start acknowledging God in all of our ways. And we start acknowledging Him in all our ways. He takes us to the way that is best for us. I could have done my whole message in that two minutes. But there's no fun in that. It's now the time of our service where we get the opportunity to worship corporately through giving. It's offering time. <laughs> But the Bible makes it very clear, uh, and Jesus says this, that if you give, it will what? Come back to you. How does it come back? Press down, shake it together, and good measure. Huh, he's got a good measure. God thinks good thoughts concerning you. You know that? 
press down, shake it together, and run it over, God will make sure that favor finds you. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Amen? Yeah. And, and when finances are being strained, he'll put favor in the hearts and the minds of others. Come on, oh, you feel that. Come on, yeah. Amen. I, I Come felt on, it this morning. I wasn't sure if he was going to do it I, I, I feel another wave that this is going to be the week. That we yes. expected is coming again. Yes. Because he started a power that he's about to do something for you that you sold a long time ago. And the bread that was cast upon the waters is coming back after many days towards you this week. So as you give, know that God has already placed you in the mind of somebody that's looking to bless you this week. 